Hello everyone and welcome to episode 22 of 6 out of 7 podcast. I'm Liam. And I'm Callum. Let's get right into it. Right, and he's got, I, t- he's got shit to do. I got work. Sorry, first story of the podcast. That's terrible. Your <laughs> mum listens. Sorry, mum. Terrible. So, t- today we're going to talk about Far From Home a little. Yep. And then we're going to talk about... It's got, I don't know how to... Pose the question. Well, title it. Spider-Man. Spider-Man uh, and the question. Like... Shame celebs. <laughs> so I mean, like the the title, they already know what the title is. It's just us that don't know what the title is right yeah, now. So I let's not worry about it. Yeah, that's a, that's a problem for the future. Yeah, yeah. Liam of the future will deal with that one. As okay. for right now, we've got to do a podcast. Far from home. Far from home. Did you like it? I really, really liked it. I thought it was. Was it? Is it the definitive Spider-Man film? Well, this is the so thing. I, the I googled it. I googled because I left my notes at home. So like a right idiot. Might be a little bit scattered today, and I googled. Spider-Man Far From Home and it said Spider-Man Far From Home is the definitive Spidey film question mark or just it is no it, it definitively in, don't worry about it we sorted we've it we've got it right is it I think it's really good I think it's really really good it's a good like it wasn't it didn't feel it didn't become this big like we need to up the scale thing it actually was quite a tight short story that went all over the place and went all over the world but it was still like Spider-Man fighting a threat that was sort of similar to him and in scale and consequence and it was rad it was so cool I loved it lots of Spider-Man suits mm-hmm. lots of quippy one-liners uh, yeah oh, oh fantastic I want to hear your cons yes you've got an issue I have spoke to several people since I've seen it who it's are been like, like a day are either sides yeah. of it a lot of people are saying well, not a lot of people. A few people are saying I didn't like it. Like I'm done with superhero films right now. Endgame yeah. kind of yeah, yeah, killed yeah. it for me, and a lot of people are being like, "Loved it." Yeah, very. It's light and it's easy yeah. to. Watch. I would say I'm like in the middle. Of course, a lot of it. Can't pick a side. It's good. It's like a. It's a good film. It's, it's good film. It's light and it's easy to watch and it's coherent. Well, it's that's one of my issues with it. It's is it is it coherent? The plot's a bit all over the place. To be honest. Yeah, I feel like it's one... They, these films can't not now be like... There's so much editing, so many stories that kind of... Side plots and things that were going... That were, were more heavily focused in writing that then mm. when they made the film. And did cutting them out. There was like loads more New York in the trailer than there was in the actual film. Yeah, there's that scene where he's in like... It looks like a bank or something. Yeah, and he's, or, like, he's fighting crime. Yeah, and he's speaking to the policeman that just... I thought that was going to be the very, very last scene yeah. or something. But no, it just, it's never... Not in the film. The, I didn't like... The we're in one location and then we end up in another and that's kind of part of the joke because like just spoilers for it because it, it's, it's hard to watch it. Without it. Yeah. watch it it's good it is good it's going, I would I would recommend it but it's like Nick Fury is basically making sure that the trip goes ahead yeah and there's a few scenes where they don't think they're going to go to a new European location but then they do yeah turn up in it and it was I didn't like that. That what's his name in it? Brad, is it? Like, yeah. MG's like other love interest. Even says at one point like, "Why are we going? What, to what's going on? Like yeah. this is so weird." And yeah, it did just feel a bit disjointed for me. Like it. Well, it's it was a, f- a funnier Marvel film. I think it's on the funnier side of it. Mm. And that is kind of I think part of you supposed to just laugh at that kind of those inconsistencies. You're supposed to say, oh, isn't that isn't that? It's hanging a lantern. Like, he's, he's sitting there with his with his trousers down. You're like that's just just laugh at it. It's funny. It's funny. He's in Don't there with, with a it. much older Austrian woman. Like that's just funny. We'll just laugh at that. Take off your clothes. Yeah. Like what? What? That's really weird. Mm. Stop saying that to that man. You could be a bit nicer to Tom. But anyway, yeah, the humor good. didn't work for me. At Not all. at all. I saw, I saw it in a screen with maybe like a hundred people. And I don't think there was much. Laughter mm. happening for eggs. Really? I, I laughed a lot. I think I was one of the few people laughing there. I didn't really. There's a teacher. It's He's the guy from Kirby Enthusiasm. The guy that goes to live with Larry. The yeah, yeah, yeah. teacher that's not yeah. the one that's in the first film. Yeah. And, um, Science teacher. I, he, I, I thought he was awful. Everything Which he said. Is? I just, yeah, why was... I don't know why he why? was in it. Yeah. What I do you mean? I don't know what they were going for with him. They needed two teachers. They, I guess they needed like the comic relief. But everything he said, I was like, oh, this is cringy yeah but he wasn't in it that much super cringy super cringy Jake Gyllenhaal though fantastic yeah knew it knew he was the villain knew it yeah I knew it it's, he's I a Spider-Man villain I told you so um, he's great he's very very good he's very good and he, like the, the, the whole shift of character I thought was quite like I bought that and I loved how it tied in all this like it's still like they can't Marvel can't get over Tony Stark and they've got a, like this is sort of we now we've got these are all of Tony's sort of 
former employees. Mm-hmm. These these are the people who are sort of the final thing that the Marvel Universe needs to tie up. And I love it. it was that bit from Civil War, like the the bath technology. I was like, that's great. Yeah. That's a really cool bit of technology. And then hey, like we've brought, we've thought about that. Like someone has put some thought into that, and we've brought it into this, and it works. It's really cool. Yeah, it's a good it's, idea. The little throwbacks. There's yeah, because at the start of is it Ultron or Civil War? Civil War. Yeah, sorry. Um, where he's memory. like he's in the he's in his memory and there's the part from Iron Man yeah the guy's trying to build the suit yeah and I love those little yeah, callbacks cool. to I really it's, like it's still that. like Marvel loves Tony Stark and like we need to sort of t- he's even dead I'm to the hero like it's it sort of knowingly does that but I hope they just put it to bed I don't think so I think we'll be getting them for Tony Stark will be in and around these films for ages pretty especially like Spider-Man ones yeah I, I get that he's the new Uncle Ben like his death is sort of the hey, big yeah. thing there's a part where he, t- he like Mysterio basically has him in a hologram yeah and Iron Man Tony Stark comes out of the grave yeah, and I was yeah. like there's going to be something for Uncle Ben surely, surely because yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's his uncle yeah. who should have had this massive impact on his life but yeah nothing nothing literally about nothing that was kind of it was kind of weird how that worked though, wasn't it that like he was put into it like because Mysterio in the comics from mine he would have like a gas like a hallucinatory gas and that was kind of what that bit was. He was sort of forced into this into the sequence. It wasn't. It was just Spider Man that was experiencing it. Mm. It wasn't very clear. Like, could drones do that to him? Like, how did that how did that work? I found that a bit confusing. The whole like there were shards falling, and it was like, a dream sequence that he was having. Yeah, it, it seemed like a, that was all projectors. Yeah, and no, it, it must didn't seem like it he was, he was drugged or anything, you know, because they were in that. We were ready. They were like in a kind of like scrapyard sort yeah, of thing. Yeah, and, yeah, construction site. And um, that was that was a good. <laughs> when you get hit I, by I, the train. I really like that. That was like straight out of the like Spider Man yeah, cartoons. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like I really liked that. But yeah, Jake, there's a scene where he like again spoilers. We've already said it, but he reveals himself to mm. end the bar starts to kind of like fade mm. away slowly and there's only like in the bar originally there's like 50 people and it goes down to like 10 yeah. and he just changes yeah. but that's him as an actor that's not like yeah. the script or anything like that that's yeah. Jake Gyllenhaal as an actor like yeah. he changes like that and it's really really good yeah and it's quite they get they extract some humour out of that like should I get the cape do I still need to get make the cape he and loves the like, cape Mysterio is like a performer mm-hmm. and I love that they brought that into the film and he's still simultaneously like quite a threat but that you can make him funny and like he's his bubble helmet mm-hmm. makes sense in his sort of VR suit or yeah, AR yeah. suit he tried to shoot him in the head yeah he literally tries to shoot Spider-Man in the head a, a child yeah a teenager yeah I like that but yeah yeah um, and I mean, and then the way it plays out at the end, where he sort of doctors that footage. I hate. I don't like that. Didn't like that. I like. Didn't so like JJ. J.K. Simmons is back as J. John Jameson, which Absolutely is really love great. It. He's Alex Jones. I don't like that he's a, not an editor. He's right. like a crazy guy on the internet. Yeah, yeah. He's, and he's which Alex he Jones. would be. He's Alex Jones. Yeah, I love yeah, that. yeah. But he would be that like in in modern day. But I would rather he was like an editor. Like. Yeah. It's still working for a paper. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. I think it's a, it's quite a cool way to refashion that story. And like, why why does Jake Jonah Jameson hate Spider Man so intensely? No, no news editor of today would have like this massive campaign against a, a superhero who was part of the Avengers, mm-hmm. right? Like, yeah. it doesn't. It needs to be a whack job that does that, right? And <laughs> yeah, it's funny enough, that yeah. and it's funny that Jake Simmons can do that. Like, he's he's even got the same haircut. Like, mm-hmm. I love it. I love the way they've done it. I really respect it. But what I do didn't like about that because I did. There were things about this film I didn't like. The fact that Spider-Man's identity is now like just uniform, like why that you could you could make so much out of that is I get that it's silly that people have these identity crisis or like what is that we're kind of over it we've seen that like four or five times in all the Spider-Man films but the fact that now it's just like yeah he Tom Holland no Peter Parker is <laughs> Spider-Man is like uh, I feel a bit like cheated yeah no bit. definitely like all that's a huge part of Spider-Man is, like yeah. he's always trying to. He's like, you, I can't let the world know who I am because he needs to protect yeah, his and loved and ones. Yeah, he's balancing these two lives. Yeah. And he's like, what does he want to be? Like, is he, would he rather be this guy? Or would he rather be that guy? And the film, Far From Home, has that like, oh, I just want to live a normal life. And now it's like, that's completely taken from him. Yes. And there's I no, agree. yeah, I feel a bit like, I feel a bit cheated, I do. I don't know where they're going to go for, I don't know if he'll be back before free. Yeah. Or they'll wait for free to like bring him back to see where they go with that story. But I liked all the MJ stuff. I thought them two together yeah. were a wee I bit like that like... she's slightly taller than him. Yeah, that's great. I really like that. That's brilliant. Yeah. yeah. I think she's really good. I can understand if people would find her annoying. Annoying. Maybe slightly dry. Yeah. Um, but I really liked her. I, li- I liked their whole their chemistry. It works, yeah. I think they and like off screen it seemed that that's sort of kind of they're playing on that. I hated Samuel Jackson that. 
he wasn't Samuel Jackson. I know. Spoiler. Every, like, I, I was just like, give him a fucking hour, like, to sort his self out to what get with mean? MJ. She, he just, get he's constantly out. just phoning him and being like, yeah. God, where are you? Hurry up. Yeah. I need you here. I get, That's I get, the narrative. He's, I get That's he's trying story. to save the world, yeah. but I just thought, I just, I would be like, shut up. Shut up for that's one minute. That's not Nick Fury's priority, know. though, is it? That's not his priority. I think that's where the tension of the film ultimately rests. If he, mm. if he gave him time to get with MJ and it all to work out, he'd be like, okay, I've done that. Yeah. Now I can focus on this issue. It would be fine. <laughs> did the you, film would be fine. Did you like the... They were scrolls. The scrolls, yeah. I thought... I, like, I was saying that after Captain Marvel, I was like, this is like... that They've kind of taken, again, something that is quite central to the Marvel like comic story and like just gone alright they've just gone back home like forget about them yeah I love it. and I love that it's Ben Mendelsohn right it's, yeah he's back Mendelsohn. yeah he's back and back, I think yeah. that's really cool and they were kind of talking there was a bit they were mentioning like Cree insurgents as well mm-hmm. which so I like that that story is being brought forward and like we can still kind of expect people to turn around and like mm-hmm. oh you're a scroll that'd be nice yeah 24th film 23rd film in the MCU great keep that's making them that's fucking crazy we nearly got that far that's crazy. Yeah, we're, we're nearly one behind, but that is crazy. Yeah, and you did. You want more? You want a break? No, nah, well, we're getting a break. When's yeah. the next one? It's not this year. So that's good. That's good. I like it. I think yeah. it was a really good like closing. Like we had this big, enormous blockbuster, biggest film ever, blah blah, blah mm. biggest crossover ever, and then we got a little short little story at the end. Yeah, better than an Ant Man, I think. They should always end with Spider Man films rather than Ant Man films. I'd rather watch Ant Man. But this is this is a better sequel than Ant Man and the Wasp. Yes. Do you know what I mean? It, yes. it means a bit more. But yes. I mean, one hundred and sixty. It cost one hundred sixty pounds. <laughs> that's a that's Million. a bargain. That's a steal. One hundred sixty mil. A cool. It will make that. Mil. It will make that back. I love that. Why do they release films on Tuesdays, man? I don't, I get don't that. know. The previews. Previews and I, I, yeah. The weekend will be like Tuesday. It will be like Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And it will probably like make awards for being that like, biggest opening week. Did they do that because it's like they can see on its opening weekend it made no this idea. and it's already got? Yeah, I have no idea. Someone, someone's crunching numbers somewhere. Someone's making bank, bro. Yeah, good. Someone's for them. driving a Range Rover. Good for them. You drive that Range Rover. Right. Shall we? Shall we move on? Let's move on. What's the topic? What's I the question? So many notes. Honestly, I had, I had. Pages. Oh, he bemoans the lack of his notes. Put them on Instagram. Well, because no one believes Photograph me. Photograph them. Photograph them. I need no. to get a photo of you before we go again. We're not doing that. I yep. Don't. But talk talk more about the topic. If this is a question, you were we were driving to a film, Brightburn, I think it was, Classic. and you you said, I've made, I've, I've decided. Like, what have you decided? Michael Jackson. It's okay to listen to him. Mm-hmm. I think this is what has spurned the uh, the conversation. We had to go park, I think, so you never got to explain yourself. But why is it okay to listen to Michael Jackson? And what is the issue? Right, so... The topic is... Yep. Shamed celebrities. Shamed. Right, and... Callum was saying that, yes, all celebrities are probably shamed in some way. Yeah, you can't make it to, to this point in the world without doing something shameful. But my question about my list is... Is it... Have they... Right, because all of them have ruined their career. Like... Well, mine's ranges from rumoured stuff uh-huh. to killed his family and killed himself yeah so, right like that's obviously you can't like, really get away with that yeah and like why would you like that person unless there's not right well that's I'll start off with him go for it Chris Benoit yeah. a wrestler you know who yeah, that is I know the story of Chris Benoit yeah. like, who else has done that is there anyone no, else that's done that there's not many like Matthew Broderick has killed someone he ran someone over right and kinda that's forgotten of yeah but Chris Benoit yeah That's, I, I yeah. still watch his, I, when I his is one of the most horrific I would say there's yeah. like I've listened to tons of podcasts on like stuff and people think maybe not maybe <sighs> yes this, I, this like, is like JJ Emma Jameson like everything like, like yeah yeah like nonsense, everything mate. Nonsense. There, there's a lot of conspiracy theories out there blah 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 but if you believe the facts he <laughs> over over a weekend he killed his killed his wife first uh-huh. strangled her to death Killed his son, like his eight year old son, I want to say, and then killed himself over a weekend, Uh Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I still, I can watch his stuff quite. Yeah. And I don't know where. It's a bit far from shamed. He's not just shamed. (laughs) He's dead and a murderer. So I don't know where this, whether that that really fits the the agreement. Yeah, but I don't know why that's okay because. Why you find it okay to watch wrestling? Right. 
The first one, the first one, yeah, well... Are you a wrestling fan? It's, yeah, I like wrestling, yeah. It's okay to watch wrestling in general, but... Yeah. That's not this podcast, but I just, I don't know why that... When I watch him, I think, like, yeah, that guy... Did that. Killed his family. It's not you, funny. Why are you laughing? It's not funny, but... This is not a funny podcast. We're but not funny, we're rarely funny. I just wonder. I just wonder why that's... Yeah. I guess he's not making any money off it. You don't think you don't think oh, I'm actively supporting a murderer like he's gone. There's nowhere like no one is is profiting from that event yeah. from you watching it because th- that's my issue with this stuff. Is often like if I still watch it or I still consume it, I'm endorsing that person and mm. everything about them, and that is like that is slightly problematic for me because I don't want to you know endorse people that are bad. Right. Okay. Well, the first one that I found out this yeah. is this is really the first was a guy called Fatty Arbuckle. You heard of this? Fatty Arbuckle. He's I've, like, he's I've like heard that as a, as a phrase to describe someone fat. I'm he's like, like that as a, like a person. He's like a silent pre Laurel and Hardy, pre Charlie Chaplin. I'm learning a lot today. So that's the first real scandal. Uh-huh. He, this is so horrible. I, I don't like this sort of like chat in the podcast, but he basically violently raped a young actress called Virginia. Like I can't say her surname, but um, Virginia R E double P E in 1921 uh-huh. with a bottle okay. and it killed her okay that's like the first real scandal and yes. according to like the internet but they had down at the quay there used to be a restaurant called Fatty Arbuckles really that we went to I had no I like, didn't go with you that's I'm saying that right now I did not go it's not there. it's probably not been there for about 15 years but it's down where the Nando's is now right. but it's just so like I'd I'd uh, yeah, never yeah. heard I'd heard like I knew he was kind of like an actor like an old timely actor yeah but I just like I'd should never be scrubbed from history for yeah he should not have a chain of restaurants so I don't yeah I, he's still got some in England right him really bad yeah. not him he's dead someone but, at the Arbuckle Estate yeah that's, someone's making money yeah that's pretty messed up pretty bad I, I I've never I can't say that I he stands large in my memory but. Now he does. Thanks for that. That's a really horrible thought. Yeah, it's, it's pretty, on, pretty horrible crime on a Thursday. Thursday. Yeah, I think. Okay, is that is that even a question? Should we is that should we bat that around? No, but, I don't know whether he's like. Is he a funny actor? Was it like a funny? Is it a question of like him being funny? No, like it's not. What, what are you what trying you, to get at here? Man? I just mean it's crazy that. Oh, just I don't, like isn't this? Weird? I've never, I'd never heard of that. I'd never heard of that either. You'd never heard of that. He had a chain of restaurants. Keep saying him, but yeah, there is a chain of <laughs> not restaurants. Him, but yeah, it's weird. It's like like is Charlie Chaplin not a weirdo as well? Did he not do something weird? Uh, probably. I mean, I think is I think the, the, what I'm trying to say is that lots of people have like have a dirt like a dirt in a past or a skeleton in a closet, right? And the, it's all about sort of your indip- your individual like it depends, right? There's a, a line somewhere. I'm saying rape with a bottle. That's my line. My line is like way before that. I think there's lots of things that I would find sort of inexcusable to the point that I'm not gonna go to the restaurant man like yeah I don't weird. I assume my parents didn't know when they took us yeah. they were like this is a nice here's a story yeah this is a cool place it's yeah. always on the wall we don't endorse Fatty no. Arbuckle what about podcast. Brian Singer yeah because, because, more difficult when they're living and profiting right so since 1997 around 18 men have, uh, mostly underage have came forward and, he, and the range is from sexual assault to just like filming yeah. uh, asking them to do inappropriate things while they film for a film yeah. apparently but he, he directed Bohemian Rhapsody which won yeah. several Oscars yeah. this year and the X-Men he's come films. through it he's you know coming I mean? through it is his stuff okay to it's not okay to watch because obviously you don't like to support these people yeah. but has it if you if we sat down and watched X-Men 1 would you be sitting thinking throughout it no, because you'd be mentioning it, you'd be shouting it. You do this a lot. He's Liam. I like loves, to, yeah. Liam loves like. By the way, you should feel like this about this you because should, of this. They need shamed. They do need shamed. But I think you can separate art from artist, and particularly mm. a director. Like they they are profiting a small amount, but it's the work of these people on screen. People working really hard. Costume designers. Lots of people are in work because of the notoriety or fame of the director. Mm-hmm. And like you kind of have to, I think, try and weigh up like. Am I supporting this one person, or am I supporting, whoops, um, a lot of things like a like a, a whole gamut of jobs and careers, and that is mm-hmm. sort of where I try and like yeah, well, it's about excusing myself ultimately. Like I think really, if I lived in line with my principles, I wouldn't you know watch any X Men films, mm. support Brian Singer in any way because I don't think you should do that. And 
Yes. We should, yeah, that's a firm That's stance. a good thing. That's a firm stance that <laughs> we have on the really podcast. Right. We're not very clear on a lot of things, but that I think we shouldn't do. And Brian Singer has done it. And like, I don't think there's any question. It's not like an alleged thing. Like, I think it's pretty, yeah, I think it's, it's pretty it's, like dead cert, you yeah. know, like, so. I don't think he's ever went to jail or mm. anything. I think all of his court cases have been thrown out. out, but I don't, it's hard, it's hard to just be like, there's no smoke without fire. But, there's no smoke that far. Uh, yeah, eighteen need, people don't just randomly come up with stuff. You need to at one point be like, yeah, this probably is. There's some truth to this, at yeah. least you know. But if he say he was like, I've put in like Dark Phoenix is apparently the last X Men film for yeah. now anyway until yeah. it goes over to um, Disney. But if he tomorrow was like, I'm making a new X Men film, I would probably go and see it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Does that make me a bad... Am I evil? Right in. I'm okay. Tell him how evil he is. I'm doing okay. Right, next one I've got is Harvey Weinstein. Okay. Yeah. This is not going to be a fun podcast. But you know what? Like, I, it's... You can't... I've seen when I looked at all the films he's put money into. Yeah. You can't... You can't be like, I'm I can't watch it. this because... People are doing that, though. People that's, have done. And yeah. like, good for them, I tell you. Yeah, good on it. But he's... It's not like he's just done 10 films... And you can be like, like Brian Singer is like, I'm not going to watch Brian Singer's stuff because of that. But yeah, he's executive produced so much stuff yeah. like, that you wouldn't even think. Yeah, you, you sit and watch your films and then you go to the trailers and it's like, or you go to the end credits and it's like Weinstein production. Yeah. So it's like, oh, fuck, you yeah, got me. I, I can't enjoy this. You got me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, and I, like that's, it is frustrating. It's difficult to live in this like, in this world where so much money is everywhere and like so much stuff's been happening historically it's a kind of it's not a set like people have started doing this yeah. it's like it's been happening for as long as we've been alive and longer but people are oppressive and that is just why do you think that world. is but what would you think it's just more people are open to speaking about it now yeah, or? yeah it's me too isn't it it's yeah. me too it's the idea that well, yeah you're not isolated and you should speak out about this stuff because it's not right and people are uh, the the fear of shame is not enough now we should, you know, we should talk about it and deal with it. Harvey Weinstein, like, coming to public about the 80 women that have came forward, kind of started the Me Too movement and also the Weinstein effect, which is basically what all of Hollywood's sex scandals are bracketed under. Right. So, yeah, his is probably the biggest. I think the worst, though, that's came of it, like, he's been, I think he's been convicted yeah shame is not enough you can't just be like oh I'm really sorry he's just tagged though yeah. in his house and he, he he can go between like his two offices in New York and I want to say Connecticut but that's it yeah that's crazy money is money insulates yeah. you from the consequences of your actions and but, that is cinema is one place but it's everywhere man it's everywhere unfortunately I don't know how this podcast is going to resolve that but I'm going to watch them like, like he's like Lord of the Rings man yeah. right like it's Lord of the Rings it's stuff like that I love too intensely and like yes he's profited from it and he's already made like got my money he's got my pennies I can't take him back yeah it's not even it's not even the big films but it's literally like I was looking at his thing it's like Wind River a little film mm. have you seen it no it's really good it's just like a little it's not an independent film but smaller budgeted it came out at the same time as The Snowman so mm. it's kind of like it was brushed over yeah. but really really great little film executives produced it and you're just like fuck like <laughs> like Big Eyes by, by Tim Burton yeah. same thing like and listen, the problem with that as well is that Weinstein would have like seen the actors and like those people on the screen have probably experienced some kind of weirdness yeah. or like in order to in order for that film to be made shady shit yeah. had potentially gone you can't you know you can't watch that film and just appreciate it as a film you appreciate it as a product of someone a bit unpleasant yeah so but I, I still I'm still going to watch them and that's the trouble I think I'm going to try and separate art from artist and like you know make all these mental acrobatics to be like yeah I don't you know I'm actually supporting these people these actors the community at large and like we should keep making films yeah uh, always just stop yeah, being just creepy don't abuse power what about Michael Jackson what about Michael Jackson I, I had a solution when I watched, I watched <laughs> did you watch the documentary yes did you watch it all the way through yes I think I couldn't get past the uh, the little boy talking about anyway yeah. we won't we won't there's a bit where I was like I'm, I'm out I, I know exactly I, what bet you're talking about I'm out I'm done this mm-hmm. is enough and my solution was why don't the Michael Jackson estate just be like okay yes Right, this stuff what happens is objectionable and we hate it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna promote or give a quarter, a third, a half, some of our proceeds to charities, funds, organizations that address this issue. Mm-hmm. And we're gonna own up to it and say this is like so if you continue supporting Michael Jackson, continue streaming it, continue watching it, blah blah blah, do it in the knowledge that mm-hmm. some of this money 
maybe all of us money. I mean, they're rich enough. They don't need it anymore. Don't need it. That is where it's going. And you can, can you can say, right, like Ma- Michael Jackson may not have come out in his lifetime and done it, but the people around, the people profiting from him now have taken, you know, taken ownership of that. Mm-hmm. And I can listen to, you know, Man in the Mirror and enjoy it. Great this song. is a great song. But I can do it and not feel this sort of moral guilt that I'm helping these people that continually are sort of looking to downplay or looking to avoid it avoid the issue because mm-hmm. the issue can't be avoided right like, there's no question yes I Michael what Jackson you think? a weird one because I'd grown up I always just thought he was like a weirdo it's like I've said before like when you're younger or when I was younger anyway pop music was just something that I tried to avoid yeah but as you get older and your taste maybe matures a little and yeah. you're more open to things and I was like Thriller and Bad especially are like phenomenal yeah albums like from pretty much start to finish but when I watched, I don't want to be on this podcast being like, I don't believe these two. Right. But don't look at me like that. But there is a lot. I'm giving him a look, guys. There is a lot. On your behalf. To look up about those two. Yeah, but that's all noise, right? Like, it's all, all this furore is erupted around it. I think ultimately something was, wasn't right. Obviously, like, he was, he obviously got up to odd things, right? But I'm not going to deny that. Yeah. But there's... <laughs> here we go. I'm not like a pure apologist for Michael Jackson or anything. Don't. But seriously, maybe maybe it is 100% everything he said in um, Leaving Neverland, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. That the, the two guys said is 100% true. Mm. Maybe it is. Maybe some of it is true. Maybe yeah. not a lot of it is true. Do you know what I'm, I'm not <laughs> That's saying... the last one. I'm not the last one. Right. Probably not the last one. But maybe all of it is true. Maybe some of it is true. But I can't really, when I'm, I don't know. I don't know why some people I would like, that I would watch or listen to. Like Gary Glitter, I could not listen to. I was never a fan though. It's easy when you're yeah, not really a fan. I think that's the thing because he's less talented. <laughs> like then, uh, yeah. my question for the end was going to be like, see, who's who's like your guy? Who's like your... Obviously Morrissey. Man. Morrissey. Obviously Morrissey. Morrissey's a, a freak. Right. Okay, I'm, I'm willing to agree with you. What if he it came out today? He, Mor- he was already a problem. He's no, already a problem. Morrissey is attacked someone. Or... Uh, he's a pedophile right. and he's killed himself. Would you want to continue listening to the Smiths and <sighs> Morrissey? Yeah, I'm trying to think of that world. That's a hard world to think about. Mm-hmm. I don't like it. It's sad. I don't think he's done that. Um, no, but I would. Yeah, I'd probably try and do a lot of sort of ethical sort of Cleansing. maneuvering and like I'd. Yeah, I'd. I, I think. I'd have to because I, I, um, my life is quite sort of fundamentally informed by that person and I love him and it's a problem it's a problem of mine that you've we've already gone through it but yeah I'd have to I'd have to I think it's people people do people are inconsistent and that would be a hell of an inconsistency yeah but it's still an inconsistency that you you know we're all sort of contradictions in ourselves and you have to kind of be forgiving mm-hmm. I don't want to forgive Morrissey this paedophile man that's now this, uh, this isn't breaking news not, by the way not, this hasn't not happened the case. but Michael Jackson right Michael Jackson this, the, the, living in Everland was such a sad story yeah. like it was a sad all the way around like his life Michael Jackson's life was sad mm. and it didn't excuse those actions but it kind of it informed a little bit I think why that man was like that it's not excusing it at all I don't want to say that I'm not, we're not apologists yeah. on this podcast no no 100% but, not and so, like, understanding that, that someone is sad and broken and a little bit fucked inside, like, I think you do kind of think, well, I've got to kind of accept his humanity as well. Mm-hmm. We should we accept people's humanity and then allow ourselves to enjoy their music? Like, creative people, you know, their product is what they what they want to be judged on for first and foremost. Yeah. And, like, I just think, yeah, I, I don't want to hang out with Michael Jackson. Probably don't want to hang out with Morrissey. Like, I, no. I, I don't know. I'm I think less you two less. get on. <laughs> Thanks. Um, less and less so now that I want to like hang because he'd probably say some mad shit about BNP or something, and I have to be like, hold it together. Excuse Morrissey. me, man. Just tell 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 me about something else, man. Tell me about your time. <laughs> well, he's but, not going to be like, oh, when I was recording, meet his murder. Yeah. Like, he's not going to be that guy. He's going to be know. like, yeah. I would like to talk politics. Yeah. No. Like I live in America, but I have all these opinions about British politics and the just see that. the quality. But we won't. We won't go. No, like. It. I'm not Michael Jackson isn't that for me it's but like, you've decided that you will listen to him yeah I, so explain not, not really I've yet to listen to should we stick it on I'd, let's stick bad that's on that's the thing I the wouldn't play out I, <laughs> the full album <laughs> I wouldn't like when I like when I drive to work next see if 
I was I put on Spotify and it came on. Yeah, I wouldn't. I'd enjoy it. Yeah, know? it's it's. I think you're allowed. I think the truth is we're allowed. Yeah. to like what you like. There's a distance there. Yeah, but he isn't my. Guy. Like it'd be like McCart if it came out. Right, who's your guy? Or McCartney? Yeah. Well, I'll I'd tell you these what. Things. They've definitely done some mess. Yeah, up but like not groupies in the '60s, man. Like yeah, like the the thing is, people those kids were. No one's getting age checked on the door. Like. The truth is, Iggy Pop's one. Like he, de- he definitely attacked a thirteen-year-old. Like is did he? No questions. Yeah, there's a book I'll send you. I won't do books. We'll avoid books and literature. And book essays. chat. Book chat. This is not a book. Podcast. Right down. This is not a book podcast. No. But there's a book, and like you read it, and it's just like David Bowie. Similarly, like it's just in that in that period. Yeah, these, Jimmy Page. These people was too. Really bad. They're too young and they're too impressionable. And like when you've got that all that power and influence, you know, you exploit it if you're messed up. Brutal. They are. This is really taking a turn. This podcast. Remember when we used to talk about superhero films? Farts. <laughs> yeah, but I think it's important that we should address it. I guess. I, mean, I just, I, I just wondered where, where do we draw the line? Where do we decide it? Because like it's case there, by case, there's like Jimmy Savile, right? Who's he never liked his stuff anyway. Well, that, is that because if you watch the Louis Ferrer documentary, the one when he goes back to like speak to the people that were abused by him. There's people that are like, I worked with him, I love him. There's that woman that's got his portrait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just like, are you crazy? Yes, it's probably the answer. To yeah, that. well, but, maybe maybe they are. Yeah, but why it. not? Why not go back <clears throat> to you and Michael Jackson? What is your? I feel like I've been done. Have to defend because Morrissey. I've... Defend Paul. What do you mean? So Paul McCartney has done loads of horrible shit. Breaking news: found out he's a horrible man. He's done some horrible oh, okay, stuff. Okay. Uh-huh. What? Where do you go? Like, do you stop listening to the Beatles? I, I think I would. Yeah. You would? I think, well, it's, yeah, I think I would for a, for a while. I think, for a while. <clears throat> like, it depends what, this sounds so horrible, but it depends how bad. Yeah, I think there's a case by case thing. You can't make a blanket. Because it's like Chris Benoit, if you, like, <laughs> I go back to like 2000. Paul McCartney, it's like Chris Benoit. 2007 or 8 or. I, I think really don't like this story, man. But, right, so you come in. Yeah. Tell me that. I'm watching a Chris Benoit match on the WWE network. <laughs> I'm going to, I'm probably going to stop it. Yeah. And be like, leave that be for a while. Do you know what? I, I'm not going so to watch, watch his stuff for a while, but I immediately think after the news 10 breaks. years after it, you're, uh, 12 years after it, it's, you know... Uh, I don't know. Uh, cause it, so you can live in alignment with your principles only like in relationship to the distance of time. Like, I think you got to, we're, we're inconsistent. If we're going to judge these people on being inconsistent, we should be more consistent. Mm. Is that not the, the, the yeah, natural definitely. position? Like, yeah. oh, it's wrong that you did that. I d- believe that that is wrong. Yeah. For, only for 10 years. You've got a 10 year, like... <laughs> and then you're free. And then you're okay. You're like, okay. I, I think that's... I don't that's know. That's how it works though, isn't it? That's how you... That's criminality, yeah. That's, no, but yeah. that's how you... We operate, yeah. You can... You got, if, if you see, can I, them I smashed your TV. Yeah, punched don't, don't smash it. I'm not going to, I like it. It's got a good story behind it as well. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Ran out your flat and then we give it two years and then we see each other walking down the street. We might not be like... No, I'm willing for, to forgive you for that. For, I'm very willing to forgive you for that. It's not my TV. We could probably be like, oh, hey, what, what have you been up to? Whereas if I seen you tomorrow, you'd probably be like, what the fuck, man? <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, people, you get over stuff. Time heals all. This is doesn't so... Heal all. It doesn't heal all. What are we about, Jimmy man? Jimmy Savile doesn't heal yeah, Jimmy Savile. Yeah, it's... Chris Benoit, I really don't... Like, I feel so weird about that. I feel really... Like, it makes me feel really weird. Because I was a kid as well. I think I was a kid when I was, like... The Chris Benoit thing. In the, the Chris Benoit... WWE I don't think I really first. understood it, like, yeah. at the time. It's messed up. It's, it's messed up. It is insane. And, like, he's still part of the canon, right? He's, uh, he's, he's still... Been, yeah, he's not been scrubbed. I will watch yeah. his match. His matches are incredible, so it's hard. There we go. There we go. I, I think, again, because he's so talented... Yeah. If he wasn't, then maybe... He wasn't, good. he wasn't a phenomenal wrestler. If he was like an okay wrestler. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Like, it's... I wonder how... Is it Ian Watkins from The Lost Prophets? Yeah. Like, his stuff... Like, there'll be people with, like, tattoos. Yeah. On... Do they still... Like, because they're not... If you get a tattoo of a face on you, on someone, you deserve whatever happens, right? Get a face of someone tattooed on your body, like, that's it. Or, like, it. a quote or... A quote. Lost yeah. Profits, like, yeah. thing, or just a wee design or something like that that means, like, you are a big fan of this yeah. band that was fronted by a disgusting human being. Yeah. Do you still listen to them? Do you still... Do you get that tattoo removed? Know. Do you... Do you, do you have a Lost Profits tattoo, audience? Let us know. Maybe right you do. Where do you sit? Where do you feel about it? I think tattoos is, is very difficult with tattoos because you are, it is a complete endorsement. Yeah. I think saying, oh, you know, I like 
Chris Benoit matches is, is like fair enough but I think when you've got them tattooed on you it's like it's a real like because you're inviting the conversation like the people with Michael Jackson tattoos nowadays like I, I wonder like I wonder do you think there's people still getting Michael Jackson tattoos are, are you audience are you getting a tattoo let us know 50 people that are oh. listening sometimes Tell it's us. 50 sometimes it's not sometimes it's less sometimes there's more it's you a bit see, of both you but, can't tell but I, if you are I think this is this is we can't solve this on this couch like it is something we have to do as a it's community. just an MJ, I think yeah. it's good to get not just week to week be like like listing films yeah and being like questions. I like them next yeah. film I don't like it you know is that what our podcast is it, no that's the I think that's the thing that's the, when you were like I can't remember what we were talking about but we had a little find in Neverland when we had a bit of oh, bit of nippy Bit of that's good that's what you want in a part you don't just bit want combat. two people agreeing agreeing on yeah. the internet there's, an, there's not enough agreement on the internet though is that not the case yeah, we disagree too much pleasantness in the world isn't there there is and we've, we've added to we've it added a little bit. To we've it. contributed a little bit I find that fatty arbuckle thing still it's really still, bad that's fucked up real man. bad I don't yeah. enjoy that see that's the fact it's as well because I've never been apart from East Restaurant at the Key yeah. 20 years ago I've did you ne- pay the bill no I didn't because I was a child but I've never seen these stuff. Yeah. So maybe if I watched it before, I didn't know. Because mm. it could have easily been. He's, he'd like influenced Chaplin. I think essentially, right? I think essentially the point about people being inconsistent and like you trying to be consistent, that's essentially where I sit on that. I can't get any closer to it because I'm, you know, I like Morrissey. And he's yeah. said some silly shit about but he's not, Bengalian platforms, you know, like he is a bit about immigration. He's a bit funny. He's not assaulted someone. No. Well, he might have. He might have. Oh. Like the, the, and you have to be ready for that because this the, the, these celebrities, these people that we put on pedestals, are you know scrutinised to a higher regard, and that's that should be that should be the case because we. Uh, but they also get, they get a lot of money. With, yeah, they also get away with more. They also get away with more. Easier to get away with. That's true. What about Hugh uh, Grant when he slept with that prostitute? That's fine. That's all right. Yeah, he's yeah. just enjoying himself. And he's Hugh Grant. He's so charming. He's so charming. I bet he was really charming. He, he looks really top. horrid in the photo. Yeah, yeah, it's a bad photo. We've all got bad. Eddie photos. Murphy as well. He yeah. tried or did pick up a prostitute. So yeah, I don't think that's like don't do it. Yeah, I think we got, we can't talk about sex work and like the ethics of that in on this podcast. We need uh, a bit more knowledge on the topic probably okay to be more informed is to, that to next make week's judge. topic we could if you want if we could just we just make this like a, a, a current affairs sort of podcast I'm not want. smart enough to that to yeah. keep up with that that could be your segment if you want my to my segment I, I'm i really sorry about that Julie Kristeva thing man I feel like I, I put like a lead balloon in the middle of that podcast yeah. so I do apologise Alan liked it good old Alan Alan I love you come back to me point uh, about Kristeva oh, also additionally an issue with that is that I talked about eye stuff and then I used a quote when she talked about I, like I as in I self, mm-hmm. and I was interchanging those two. And no that, one listened. To this thing. No one listened. It was fine. But I found that additionally confusing when I was listening back. I was like, Am I talking about eyes or am I talking about I? How, where do you listen to it? YouTube or Spotify? YouTube. Apparently, people listen to it on Spotify. Mm, I mean, from the some lessons. people do. Kirsty does. Calling you out. Yeah, you use, we got a lovely Spotify. comment from um, Graham Laurie. I'd one of. My old buddies. Oh, yeah. Nice long comment we just got before we started recording. Oh, cool. So, thank you. If you're listening, Graham, thank you very much. I'm going to read Come it. on the podcast. Yeah, it'd be nice to have you. Um, but next week, it's just going to be me and Jake. Me and Jake, I'm away. Because Callum's off. I'm traveling. away. I'm, I'm, I'm taking a break. It's a man of the world. I'm not a man of the world. I'm just taking a break. But have we, we've come to an end, right? We've come to yeah, an I end. Yeah, I think so, yeah. We've reached like some conclusion. Not really. It's hard, to, it's hard to conclude on that because it's ongoing and it's different for every person. Some cases are ongoing. Some cases are ongoing. Mine certainly is. I'm figuring it out still. I'm still working it out. Your you, case, my case. I'm figuring out what I think about it. Like, uh, what do you think about it? I, I feel, got... I feel like pretty much the same as when we started. Really? Like, yeah, it's a, it's a mixed bag, it's a mixed and bag. that sounds horrible. That's because they're all, they're all a mixed bag. They're all <laughs> celebrities. It's a mixed bag. <laughs> they're all criminals, but it, yeah, it's it's very hard for me to be like we condemn like criminals, but we like bad. Bad is Spider Man's looking at me, which I don't appreciate. You don't appreciate that? Um, I like that drawing. Next week, me and Jake will be discussing dreams and films. <sighs> oh, that's such a cool topic. Oh, God, I'm going to miss that. That's a, what? <gasps> that's a great yeah. topic. Like how dreams are portrayed that's in different so, films. Like, like Spider Man, the Mysterio sequence. Exactly. Oh, my God, I'm annoyed. That's frustrating. It's your fault. I'm tuning into that one. Never leave. I'm going to be the first one um, to listen. Going to do it in mine so the cats will be back. Excellent. It's all good things. Excellent. Excellent news. Cool. So, thanks very much for I'm listening. I'm really glad about that. It's your own fault, Cam. I don't know what else to say. Um, yeah, thank you very much for listening. Sorry if this one's been a bit grim. 
Yeah, it has been. But it's good to get a serious topic to discuss things that actually matter. Yeah, I suppose. All right. Dreams would be better than this. Dreams would be good. Oh, man. With Jake, with lovely Jake as well, with his I lovely like accent. Jake. That'd be good. I'm looking forward to that. Cool. So, yeah, we'll see you then for my and Jake's episode. Episode 23. Stay tuned. Bye. Bye-bye.